Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog. Uh, just after the uh, State of Decay 2 recording. Um, I was very upset. I still am. The game broke. I was distraught. And it just got worse from there. Since this one will be coming out after the episode, I guess I should mention. Um, losing David was a heavier blow than I thought it would be. I didn't expect the game to break like that, which was already leading to me being distraught and trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. I figured, you know what, I'll just follow through anyway, since the enemies are still there. And I, I could not have known. I could not have known it could have gone so far south. The game screwed me, and then it screwed me again in taking David away from us. I... I don't think there's much else to say. This game and its prior game have been known to be buggy messes. I'm aware of this. That's something I've put up with to play these games because I like them so much. But this might be the last straw for me. bug that should not have led to what happened took took one of my best survivors I lost one of my best survivors because the game bugged out I will admit to some responsibility in that I should have realized that I was not equipped, I was not ready, I could not have dealt with what was going on. I should have just gotten out of there and just ran with it. But when the game bugs out that hard, it's hard to think in that particular moment what the best course of action should be, because it shouldn't be doing that. That's half the point of a bug. It's not supposed to do that. And I just... I don't know how else to say that I am frustrated with the quality of this game and the quantity of the bugs. This is too much. This is too much bullshit to go through. I understand that Dread Zone is harder. I understand that Dread Zone is supposed to be more challenging. But due to bugs, bugs are not supposed to be there. Bugs shouldn't be leading to these problems. I'm not upset over the Dread Zone fucking kicking my ass. That's what I expected. What I didn't expect was bugs that come up like this and break the game. That is unacceptable. I lose a allied community due to a bug. And then I lose David because I'm distraught over that bug. That is bullshit. 
That said, I wanted to make one thing clear. I'm not ending the series due to this, but I'm taking a good long break from it. I'm taking a very long break from it. I don't want to look at this game for a while. I don't want to think about this game for a while. I want to hope that by the time I come back, something's been fixed about the game that makes it stop happening. Because I don't want to deal with this bullshit constantly happening over and over again. I end up breaking quests through no fault of my own. I end up losing friendly communities through no fault of my own. This is unacceptable. Things that you're supposed to rely on in the game to work are not working. And I just... I just don't know what else to say other than I'm frustrated with this game right now. Since I said I wasn't going to be ending the series, I did install Rollins as the new leader and thus sheriff. Turns out the other guy wasn't warlord anymore. I guess he became traitor at some point. I don't remember what happened. I remember him being warlord, but... With that in mind, I put Rollins in. He is just as capable as David. He is, albeit not as prominent a personality, he is a pretty cool guy, and I do like having him as well. But I am upset that one of my originals, my original leader, my cool guy, the guy I liked, is lost over bugs over bugs that are outside of my control. And I am very upset. This is the second video. I'm sorry it's not a gameplay video, but I want to get my thoughts out there over State of Decay's broken bullshit. While I cool down from the frustration of the game, I might replace it with Fallout 76. I'm a little less mad with that game. And quite frankly, at least with that game, uh, I can enjoy it for a little bit. I'm ending this vlog here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and the problems we have with them. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and being upset at the games being broken because I'm trying to enjoy them, man. And it just is difficult when they act like this and break like this. And I can't, I can't keep putting myself through that for you.